Now that word wait also means to serve. Oftentimes we look at that word wait and we talk about sitting on the stool of do nothing, waiting on God to come pass by and do something. Stop by here, dear Lord. Come by here. But the reality is I have to posture myself in a position to serve God. If I want that thing that I'm believing God for, if I want that thing that I just wrote down on that little piece of paper, I have to posture myself in a position to serve God. I waited patiently for the Lord I served him I knew what his expectations were for me as it pertains to service in this house I knew what his expectations were for me as it pertains to service in my family I knew what his expectations were for me as it pertained to serving him and him alone giving him the time that he requires I waited patiently for the Lord I understood that it was important for me to posture myself in the place of service if I wanted to get the thing that I believe God for. I have to put myself in a place of service. As a matter of fact, it is the same word that is used in Isaiah, the 40th chapter, the 31st verse, where he says, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up upon wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and not faint I waited patiently for the Lord and as I began to wait for the Lord he renewed my strength he gave me the ability to mount up on wings like eagles and the interesting thing that we see about the eagles, eagles wings is that the eagles wings don't necessarily flap continuously they just soar so the, what, the, what the responsibility of the eagle is, is to wait for the proper amount of wind. How many know that wind usually represents the spirit? So therefore it is my responsibility to wait on the spirit of God to move on the face of my situation. And as he moves on the face of my situation, it is my responsibility to step and to settle myself on the wings of the eagle and just soar. Even in the midst of the storm, it's my responsibility to just soar. When trouble seems to rise and comes up on you upon every hand, you just got to just soar. As a matter of fact, the beauty of the wings of the eagle, when the eagle encounters the storm, he doesn't go in the opposite direction. He runs into the storm and he rises above the storm in order to get to the place that God believed for him. He's focused. He's determined. Are you focused and determined as it pertains to the thing that you wrote down on that piece of paper? Then you won't run against the wind of the storm. The rains. Folk talking about you. Saying that you're not good enough. Because you know church folk will tell you in a minute that you got to qualify to get this thing. You have to be morally correct. Your values have to be in order. And that, that may be true and that may be right. But it's important for you to understand that God looked beyond your situations. He looked beyond everything that you did. And he even looked beyond everything that you were about to do. And he qualified you. He justified you. Are you hearing me? I waited patiently for the Lord. It's also used in Psalm. 27 14 if you want to write that down and he says wait on the Lord be of good courage and he shall strengthen thy heart wait I say on the Lord be of good courage he will strengthen your heart do you know that the heart when he says heart he's talking about the mind the will and the emotions and if you just begin to serve your God he will strengthen your mind your will and your emotions man you feel jacked up you feel messed up but I just dare you to serve your God he will strengthen your heart I don't know what you may be dealing with this evening or what happened this, this morning on your job, but if you just commit yourself to serve the Lord. I waited patiently for the Lord. He will strengthen your heart. He will give you the ability to press through the storm, press through the frustration, press through the situation so that you can get to the place of completion as it pertains to the thing that you just wrote on that little piece of paper.